Next question is from Andy. I love it when girls are named Andy, it's so cute. Andy asks, hi Jesse, I have spent the morning watching a lot of your videos. You had the best morning ever. I recently purchased muscle building and cannot wait to start. Awesome. However, I am in the process of reverse dieting and I just came off a program where I ended with carb cycling and a calorie deficit. Should I be gaining weight during this reverse dieting process? I am adding in 150 calories per week and I have been reverse dieting for two weeks so far and plan to go for four weeks total. I have gained three pounds so far. I am lifting and still doing cardio, thanks. Uh, okay, so my favorite part about your email, well, there's lots of favorite parts. Well, your whole email was amazing. One, you're adorable. Two, your name's Andy, which is awesome. Three, you're reverse dieting. Thank you for doing that. And lastly, you're reverse dieting correctly. A lot of people think reverse dieting is, oh, I already have an S Jesse where I just go off on, on reverse dieting. I want to do that so bad right now. <laughs> Every time I have like a mini question about reverse dieting, I just want to make like a 30 minute Ask Jesse video about it. <laughs> but I've already done it. I'm going to look up the date so I can refer to it. But basically reverse dieting is such a simple concept that so many people have confused. Okay dieting, regular dieting, going dieting in the non-reverse way is I'm eating 2,000 calories, I want to lose weight, so I am going to diet and cut calories out little by little by little by little until I am at this weight goal and I look like this. Okay, reverse dieting is just the reverse of that. Ah. Okay, so I'm at this calorie amount, usually like 900 calories because everybody's fucking up their bodies, right? So I'm gonna reverse diet and add in a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit until I'm at this maintenance calorie goal, which is 2,100 calories. Okay, you can't go from 900 calories to 2,100 calories in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks even, but you need to make little 150 calorie jumps. Uh, you're going week by week. One week isn't enough time for your body to adjust to a change in calories, but because you're jumping by such a small calorie amount, I'm not like completely mad at you. I would still love to see you go 150 calories like every two weeks at least. At least give yourself two weeks with 150 calorie jump. So you'll be at, you'll jump up to 150 calories, cruise right there for two weeks, jump up another 150 calories, cruise there for two weeks, jump up another 150 calories, hang out there for two weeks and so on and so, so forth until you get to your calorie amount that is correct for your body for what your goals are first of all you're doing it right I would love to see you have longer periods of time where between your 150 calorie jumps but I love that you're doing them by 150 calories and your question is should you be gaining weight you've gained three pounds since starting this a couple weeks ago yes I mean if you're eating a thousand calories and you are slowly adding in calories yeah you're gonna gain some weight. The slower you do it, the slower and longer you take to reverse diet, the more it's going to be muscle gain and less fat gain. So if you just jump from 1200 calories to 1900 calories, your body cannot handle that. It's like, what the hell are you doing? It can't process it, it can't store it. It's going, it has to store all of that excess food somewhere, so it's going to convert into fat. You're gonna end up gaining way more fat, which is that post-show fat gain, rebound, how did I get here, crazy land. But if you go really slow, the slower you go, the more you're allowing yourself to gain muscle and a teeny tiny bit of fat as you go along. So yes, you should gain weight. Three pounds is nothing. I think that's fantastic. If you feel like you are gaining weight too quickly or too many pounds too quickly, then I do think that your one week calorie jumps are too close together. So if you feel like the weight gain is happening too fast or too much, then my advice for you Andy would just be to add in that 150 calories, but wait two to three weeks at a minimum before jumping again to a higher calorie amount. That's it. You're doing great though. Thank you for reverse dieting.